Hello, my name is Michelle McCabe. We are here with the Horizon Results Platform at the European Commission. And the Horizon Results Platform is the corporate reference for promoting the EU-funded research and innovation results. Today, we are here to showcase a particular uh, element of one of our partners, which is with uh, Marco Garini, who is Head of Innovation and uh, Technology Transfer at Veneto Innovazioni in Northern Italy, and also Innovation Strategy Advisor at the EEN, which is the Enterprise Europe Network. So hello, Marco, welcome. And could we start by mm -hmm. asking you uh, a little bit about uh, what the beneficiaries should know about Veneto Innovazioni and about the EEN, and also how they can get in, in touch with you? Yes. And uh, hello, everyone, and thank you very much for, for this. Um, uh, Benet Innovation is the governmental agency for innovation based in here in the northeast of Italy. And, um, and we are a member of the Enterprise Europe Network, uh, so one of the nodes of the 100, 500 nodes we, we have in 56 countries. Okay. Well, let me ask you a few questions about that. Let's start with a, a first one, which is, what exactly is your role? I think you're very involved with advisory and being an intermediary uh, for the beneficiaries. So could, could you tell us a little bit about that first? Yes, uh, I would like to start uh, saying, as I used to say, artists to market and uh, business growth uh, are not complicated. They are definitely complex because uh, with complicated means that I don't understand how they work. But actually they are complex because in any case, I uh, am affirming that uh, there are many different uh, interacting and correlated elements uh, which affect the success uh, deployment of uh, new technologies on the market through the realization of a successful uh, product or services. The sad, the, the sad thing is that most of the time is not related uh, to the quality of the technology. It doesn't depend from the, the quality of the technology. You can have the best technology, you can have an incredible pattern, but actually most of the time it is not enough because uh, you should be able to translate these uh, research results, uh, these, uh, uh, this technology in a, in a real value innovation. It means that the and value is not uh, depend from you. The value is the the, the perception of being benefit uh, uh, market and uh, and the people can have about your product. And the, another thing is that uh, the same product could be initially successful just on specific geographical market or market application, and sh you should be able to reach that market. Could be abroad, could be in the single market, but also could be globally in some other uh, continent. Uh, and that's why it's so important to, to be in contact with the reliable gateways everywhere. And in this uh, way, that, that's why also Veneti Innovazione is uh, part of this network, because this network of intermediaries are for us a fundamental and strategic, because uh, they allow us to get in contact with uh, almost 4,000 brokers uh, everywhere, and the number of, of countries covered uh, is still growing. Okay, so when a beneficiary starts working with you, you will de determine with them where in the world you'll be contacting your sort of colleagues globally. Yes. Okay. And uh, tell us a little bit more about this um, approach that you'll be using with the beneficiaries. How do you actually get started with them? What, what happens when, you, when you're working with a particular startup or company? And actually, with the company, um, I mean, uh, whether it is a spin-off company or uh, or uh, a small and medium enterprise uh, willing to deploy uh, a technology or knowledge or you know, a successful market or service solution, I always start providing an innovation management assessment. But they, because with the, such an assessment, uh, entrepreneurs or managers are able to better identify which could be the entrepreneurial strength and weaknesses in, 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 in generating value. Because actually, 
innovation is not just a researcher and innovation is not just a, a patent or a technology general innovation is the, the value you are able to generate and redistribute on the market actually this awareness uh, helps uh, companies to better draft also successful product or market application of the specific technologies and at the same time this awareness about these weaknesses and the strength uh, related to the competitive advantage allow also to improve the quality of the business plans uh, and these make actually business plan really more compelling also in front of uh, investors because in, you, you are able in any case to describe the, the way you generate such a value and uh, to explain why you are able to generate the returns to show uh, and the investor is in a way they are sure the investment they are doing uh, are good so the, the outcome of this uh, uh, initial assessment is a uh, really a strategy a mm. strategy which allows the company to really identify which are the possible market application the, the who are their target in terms of yeah. uh, which okay. partner could be uh, but also and then um, where they could be mm. um, and then um, actually, actually and this is the moment where enterprise Europe network came to my height because thanks to them i can identify the best partner everywhere I need. Uh, within the Enterprise Roman Network, we have also some uh, sector groups and um, different fields uh, defined by the Commission in the industrial ecosystem. Okay. And so, and was, most of the time, we involve also company in our initiative. So, and this is very useful in order to establish technology transfer agreements and yeah. trade and business agreements as well. Well, it sounds like a win win for both sides of that. Now, if I remember correctly, all of the services that you offer for the SMEs, the startups, uh, spin-offs, are free of charge if they are EU funded. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. of course. Actually, we are asking to provide also because we don't provide consultancy. We provide mm -hmm. advisory service. So we need to, to in any case, to to support uh, um, the clients. We used to call them clients could be researchers, but the researchers top, top, but also small and medium enterprise with this free of charge service. And the, uh, as I said, it's not consultancy. We provide advice, uh, advice yeah. how to better develop yeah. such a strategy with a with a specific uh, vision. I mean. So it's really important for any beneficiary that's, that's listening uh, that hasn't been in contact uh, with their local EN, EEN uh, advisors is really to reach out and have at least a first in a informational call and see what the uh, opportunities would be with them. So we will, we will put links in for all of that. Yes, thank you. Okay. So Marco, could you uh, share with us a success story that you've had? Yes, but let me first um, let me first uh, describe uh, also some uh, another important okay. point because as I told you, be actually the network is um, uh, is nowadays we cover as we as I said fifty six countries. So mm. there are the twenty seven member states and also other uh, no twenty nine non EU countries, and. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and we share with all the nodes of the network common methodologies and processes, uh, even if we continue to represent our diversities, because we present, represent different countries and, and regions. Okay. And this is really the great added value of, of the network. And, uh, and actually, actually the, beside the introduction, as I told you before, we are a network of intermediaries. Mm -hmm. uh, beside the introduction with the potential partner, we provide also, um, because clients with uh, proper insight and suggestion about the different mindset and the cultural peculiarities you could have in specific countries. Also, you can provide which are the preferences of the local businesses and the, sure. and the consumer as well. Cultural aspects. And this is, yeah. and this is very important. And this is why also I, because actually the, the same Horizon Results Platform is an incredible initiative, I think, incredible, sorry, is a very good initiative because actually on one side, it all over um, corporates and uh, 
and companies willing to innovate with the advanced solution to find this solution. On the other side, the, the platform itself is helping beneficiary to be more visible and compelling in front of, of the market itself. But it, and it also very um, a good source for enterprises of network brokers because mm. in this way we can have a, a selection of the the, the 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 best technology developed thanks also to the framework programs of the yeah. European Commission and this is why in this way also I found uh, Nadir Nadir is a company based here in the mainland of Venice and dealing uh, with um, plasma, cold plasma, and the different market applications. So I'm going to introduce you to Paolo Scopece in a while. Excellent. So thanks, Marco, for your nice introduction. So I'm Paolo Scopece. I'm the main responsible of uh, Nadir, our uh, SME. And as you know, we uh, work on a European uh, uh, project. Uh, the name of the project where we uh, worked was a FAST project. And as you know, our results are now uh, present in, in, the, uh, in the research platform. And perhaps, um, Paolo, you can tell us a little bit about how you've been working with Marco. Yes, of course. So uh, Marco is uh, uh, supporting us almost every day because he is always a, a connection for us. He provides us every time networks, first of all, uh, because uh, he knows what we do. He knows what our technology can do. And so often he has some new companies to, uh, to meet uh, for us and to create networks. And of course, we also receive some support in the assessment they provide in order to better define our strategies. As you know, okay, we, we are maybe too much on research. <laughs> and, uh, and thanks to Marco assessment, we are focusing some uh, application fields that are more, that have a uh, different time to market application with the more faster application. So, and thanks to their experience and uh, some connection, we are creating and working on uh, more selected uh, topics. That's more or less what we do together. Great, great. Thank you. Well, if I were to recap, then uh, we have this example, wonderful success story with um, Paolo and Nadir with uh, Marco. And in general, Marco, I know with other um, conversations we've had, you really accompany uh, the researchers in changing their mindset from researcher to researcher plus business and helping them in that uh, go-to-market journey, aligning the product and market fit with them, you know, really accompanying them in, in getting that uh, figured out. And as you said, you can have the best technology, but if you can't demonstrate the business savvy to the investors, it's not going to fly. So this idea of helping, you know, a company um, to create impact and scale up internationally as well uh, is all very, very um, valuable. And hopefully a lot of the beneficiaries who are listening today will reach out and, and try and at least have a first contact call and uh, see what they, you can do for them. Um, I'd like to ask both of you if you would have sort of a last uh, word of advice or suggestion for any be beneficiary that is um, very focused on maybe the research angle and um, thinking about taking a step forward towards uh, the market. What would, what would you want to share with them? So uh, for sure, what uh, I understand from my experience uh, is uh, that it is really important uh, to the, 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 the communication part of, of what, what we do. And, uh, and, and of course, uh, a lot of uh, small, medium enterprises or, or startup doesn't have the effort or doesn't give their, their right importance to the communication part, so to, to the possibility to, pre, to be present in platform like yours or in other initiatives just to communicate what a new technology can do mm -hmm. and to disclose together new possible applications because sometimes new applications are in fields or 
that you are not thinking about that, mm -hmm. or maybe the real market is not the one you are focused at the beginning, but is <laughs> a, a little bit shifted. So uh, it is it is really important to 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 create the networks and uh, communicate a lot to uh, to find together new market uh, possibility. That's from my, my point of view. Yeah, and actually, I can confirm also with Nadir. It was a it, it is a great experience because, as, as he said, actually the, the potential market application of such a technology, for example, are uh, very, there are a lot of potential market application and then the deal itself, they are very proactive in funding new market application. Actually, as you said also, Michelle, actually sometimes uh, being a researcher is not easy to, to transform yourself in a businessman. And that's why also we try to support such kind of companies mm. which are very well connected with the, the research side and the, the, these all of them really to be always uh, updated with advanced solution for the, for the market where we are um, supporting them is to find also potential clients and try to support them in the in what we said before trying to translate the best technology and uh, real value for, for the market. This is uh, very important. And when I used to hear from someone, uh, the market doesn't understand my product. I used to, to tell, mm -hmm. uh, try to change the perspective, try you to understand the market, because this is <laughs> fundamental for yes. being successful really, really. For, on the market. Yeah. Great advice, great advice. And I'm sure that working with you, they can, they can make that switch. All right, well, thank you both very much. So we have Marco Gorini and um, Paolo Scortese, and thank you for being here today.